I know a fellow who went to war. I'm sure it happened in 64. It might have happened in 63 or 2. His father said, will you please get shot for it? We'll certainly help a lot. And we can use your pension if you do. He went away on a wintry day. He fell in a river and started to shiver. He said to the general, this isn't nice. You see that the river is covered with ice. An icicle froze on the end of my nose. I know I'll be dead with a cold in the head. Now whoever told you a soldier's life was fun. But then the general said to him, the Delaware River's a sin to swim. Just think of dear old General Washington. For he was a soldier too, he feared no I thought no. He crossed the Delaware nearly 80 years ago. Don't mind the ice, my boy, although you're frozen blue. It was good enough for Washington, it's good enough for anyone. For he was a soldier too. Now this young fellow who went to war, his Christian name it was Isidore. I can't believe it's a Christian name at all. He knew his family wished he'd croak, but he kept living just for a joke. And just for spite he dodged his cannonball. He wouldn't keep still when they started to drill. He said, I'm no gunner, but I'm a good runner. The captain said, is he your terrible dumb? When he wasn't looking, they gave him a drum. Inside of a year, he could play by ear. He said it was grand when he got in the band. He thought that he wasn't a soldier anymore. But when it came to the battle front, they put the orchestra out in front where it was twice as bad as it was before. And he was a soldier to a drummer boy so bold. He played a hot old time, but his feet were getting cold. He fell and dropped his drum as bullets round him flew. When the enemy proceeded, he picked up his drum and beat it. For he was a soldier too. Brave is the door, made the foreman run. They all ran after him, everyone. He made the marathon race look like a fool. The captain yelled, you're a fine recruit. Why don't you stick to your gun and shoot? He said, I'm going home to shoot some fool. He ran like a cat for a mile and a half without any bluffing. He did it in nothing. His shadow was tired, so he left it behind. His ankles were smoking, but he didn't mind. He kept looking round as he covered the ground. He saw a big tree, and he said, as for me, there wasn't another good shelter anywhere. He broke all records. He ran so fast, but after he got to the tree at last, he had no room for somebody else was there. And he was a soldier to a general, I declare. It was an apple tree and it would not hide a pear. He shoved poor Isidore out where the bullets flew. And he said, keep still, don't raise a fuss. This tree won't hide the both of us, for he was a soldier too. The general climbed the apple tree. He softly wobbled there after me. They're wasting ammunition on Isidore. He said to Izzy, they'll get you yet. You look just like a mosquito net. You are the softest mark in all the war. Two nurses came round as he lay on the ground. One of them said, Lizzie, just look at poor Izzy. The other one said, we'll be rich if he's dead. We'll take out a claim for he's chuck full of less. They went through his clothes and they tickled his nose. He started to cough, so they carried him off. They took him away just behind the Red Cross shield. The general said, here's a tip for me. And then he tumbled out of the tree. He thought he saw a chance to get off the field. For he was a soldier too, he fell out of the tree. He called the nurses up and he said, look after me. They told the general, we cannot fool with you. All our surgeons, they are busy picking bullets out of easy. For he was a soldier too.